Hello, Moglets. Today we're going to be raising Wolf's Gravestone. We're going to be raising Diluc to 90. Should be a good time. Forgive the aspect ratio for now. That should get better a little bit later. We're recording on phone at the moment. First things first, we have to farm the materials we need. And I thought it would be a pretty uh, cool idea to kind of compare, you know, level 20 gravestone, level 30, level 40, level 90. So we're going to have Diluc in our party. We're going to start with him, just do some attacks so we don't have any buffs or anything. Keep the same team, etc., etc. And uh, yeah, we can compare it a little bit later. I think that'll be pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to start here. We got a 4700 Vaporize. To speed this along, we will be using Condensed Resin. Here we did get a purple, which is okay, I suppose. Let's see if we can raise it already. We can, as a matter of fact, we can get that up to 40. And uh, we can already do our little first comparison here. At the end, we will have some side-by-sides as well, in case you can't really remember, like, the first hits and the second hits and stuff. I know I can't. We might be able to actually get it higher. Yeah, we have a lot of the blue ones. So we're going to get it as high as we can. All right, so now we have it at 60. We do need some more purples. So I guess we'll have a level 20 comparison, level 60. We will have some side-by-sides later, but I believe the last one was 4,700. That was not a crit, unfortunately. We'll figure out the comparison a little later. Here we got another one purple. Yeah, we still need one, but I'm going to uh, see if I can craft that. We can indeed. Let's just make sure we get Mona first. And I think we can make a purple now. Yes, indeed, we can make three purples. And we'll need those because... Um, we'll need some gold ones also later. All right, there we go. We can also get it up to 70 now. I think we won't be able to. Yeah, now we need ugh, nine purples. Back to the domain we go. Let's see if that first hit works out this time. Yeah, now we're getting 7,900. He's uh, hitting 18K with his ult there as well. What do we get this time? One more purple. No golds, unfortunately. No purples. Let's try that ult again. Yeah, this time I definitely saw an 18-4. Two purples this time. We're also, of course, getting the uh, green and, you know, blue ones. So let's see if we can craft. Yeah, we can actually make seven purples, which I think is exactly enough for the next stage. Also need to make some of this Ruin Guard stuff. And let's give it a look-see. All right, indeed, we can get it up to 80 now. I think 80 is a solid stopping point, but we are going to try and get it to 90. So yeah, for level 90, we need six gold and some of that other stuff. But what I'm more worried about is actually from level 80 to 90 with the enhanced crystals. Back to the dungeon we go. Let's see that level 80 sword in action now. And yeah, now we're hitting with 8,700 on that first hit and 12.9K on the last. What do we get? Nothing, still nothing. A purple, let's see how far away we still are. These are all condensed runs, by the way. Thankfully, I have some fragile resin saved up. Could make seven purples, oh, one more purple because of Mona's thing there, which is cool. And four golds, that's actually more than I thought. We still need two more gold, so we're heading back. But since we've had to run with the weapon at 80 for a while now, I think what we're going to do is raise Diluc himself up to 90 and uh, see the sort of difference between that I don't think there's going to be a massive difference, honestly, because yeah, you can see the stat difference. It's almost nothing. Um, generally, level 90 is not worth it, but whatever. We have well, we have a five-star weapon for him now, so I guess every little stat counts. So let's try out that attack again. Uh, I didn't see anything. Let's look at that last one. 13.6? I think that is actually quite a bit higher. His ult does... Was that 23? Oh, we've run out of condensed resin, so this will be a normal one. No purples, unfortunately. Well, you know what that means. Here we go. Here is condensed. What do we got? No purples. Give the goblin some gold. Well, three purples. I'll take it. Can we craft yet? Yeah, probably. We have 14 blues. Oh, and we can make another blue. And yeah, there we go. Two gold. So we should be done. We should be able to get it up to 90 now. There we go. I don't think we have enough uh, <laughs> refined stones, though. So we might have to come back to this a little bit later. Yeah, we can only get it to 82. Oh boy. Oh man. I'll be back in a couple days. For you, it'll be in a couple seconds because of editing and stuff. But yeah. Hey Moglets, I'm back at the PC this time. Uh, we're going to go head over to the uh, Mr. Forge dude. I, I was making some crystals. It's probably not enough, but I've been making them for the past couple of days. Um, but you can only make a certain amount of these kind of free ones per day. I think 30 of them. Yep. Cannot forge any more Mystic. We're going to go ahead and see how far. Please. 88 oh my god why does it need so much oh man all my stuff is expired 
I didn't even release any of the lanterns myself. Now none of my wishes will come true. Speaking of wishes, Hu Tao has finally been announced, which is Pog. I can stop saying new, new hero coming. <laughs> Cause I mean, that's obvious that a new hero is always somewhere around the corner anyway. So I'm looking forward to it. Although slightly less so cause I got gravestone instead of Homa. Like apparently everyone else did. It's weird. I don't know if it's just like a massive coincidence. Like it's possible for it to be a coincidence still just because of how chance and RNG works. But it's, it, it is a little sus, I gotta say. I'm not sure if they're gonna say anything about it or not since uh, it is kind of a big topic right now that, you know, Wolf's Gravestone appears to be dropping way more than Homa. I don't see why they would do that. I mean, I mean, Wolf's Gravestone is a pretty de desirable weapon also, but I guess it could just be because of the Hu Tao hype and everyone wants a spear for her. Ugh, these free ones take so long. I don't even want to show myself making these mystic with resin, but like, I don't know, man. I have enough gold, as you can see, six million. I have enough character XP books for like two characters. My artifacts are okay for now, so I don't really know what else to spend my resin on anyway. It seems like a waste because yeah, you can just farm the green stones and make these. It is kind of a waste. I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm impatient and I want my weapon at 90. And I know for a fact these aren't gonna be enough anyway, so you see, we just spent like a hundred resin on, on enhanced stones and it's still, it's still 80 plus eight. It must be like right at the end of eight. Oh my God, dude, that's insane. Okay, maybe it was like 60 resin, but whatever. Here's what 20 resin gets you, I guess. We can check that out. If it doesn't at least get it to 90, I'm going to be so angry. This is 12 enhanced stones. The amount of diminishing returns on 80 to 90 for both character and weapons is literally insane. Okay, so that 20 resin worth of stones is enough to get it to 81 but probably barely nothing else. Yep, you see that? <laughs> One pixel. <laughs> that means, you know, eh, 20, 40, 60, probably 100 resin or so from 89 to 90. So this is 40 resin here, almost half, maybe like two fifths. So I think if we do 40 more resin and then wait for the uh, free ones, that'll be 90. Why, why though? Oh my Lord. This is probably the second stupidest thing I've done. The stupidest thing was yesterday when I was summoning on the wrong banner and literally didn't realize it until comments told me about it. Oh my God, and I was wondering, I was wondering, how the heck does it take 86 summons to do a weapon pity? Hmm, I'll probably be beating myself up over that for at least the next couple of weeks. <laughs> well, these are finally done, so we're gonna go ahead and take them, see how many more we need. <laughs> it's so sad, my fragiles. Whatever, we're just gonna do 40, and I think, oh no, that's probably still not enough. This is 40 resin, it's not enough. And there we go. So, d 90, Weapon 90. We're gonna go back to that dungeon one more time for the uh, final comparison. And then we're probably gonna take a look at his artifacts, switch those up, and then probably go to Abyss as it does reset in 12 hours and we haven't done 11 and 12 yet. Wasting all that resin on Sunday hurts even more because everything is open today. But we're gonna go for the same dungeon we went for first. All right, for the sake of the last comparison, let's do this once more. 10K. Oh, and the end was a 14883. Cool. There is the buff. Let's try his ult. 26k. Not bad, not bad. Let's try doing it in Bennett's ult after he gets Wolf's Gravestone. Ah, there. All right, here we go. No, get out. All right, let's see. Boom. That was a non critical. Of course it was. Anyway, here's the comparison on screen. I obviously can't see it as this will have to be done in post-production, but yeah, you can see numbers going up. Pretty cool beans. As you raise a weapon and a character, they do more damage. I'm glad we could share this discovery together, but I think also given the context, you can see what kind of diminishing returns are like. You saw how, how much we struggled and how much resin we needed just from, you know, the last parts of level 80 to 90. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the last two examples there from 80 to 90 and how there's probably not that big of a difference. First of all, I wanna see how high we can get his attack. I'm gonna guess 4.5K attack. Let's give it a look-see. 4,000, all right. Not as much as I thought, but still, would break 5K within Bennett's ring. I'm actually gonna try it. I'm gonna try and get his attack as high as humanly possible, at least with the artifacts I have. This is gonna be pretty hard though. He's obviously a lot weaker with 4K attack. Uh, because he doesn't have any crit rate, crit damage, pyro damage bonus, anything like that. Um, but I just want to see how high I can get it. First of all, I have to see if Wolf's Gravestone procs uh, increases. Yep, there, there we go. 
It does. So we, now he has 4,400. So I got to do Binette's ult. I got to go to Barb. Back to D Luke. Stand in the ring. There we go. 5,500. I think he has all of the boosts right now. Maybe not Wolf's Gravestone anymore. I'm not too sure. And uh, yeah, he's still not doing any damage. Oh no, I forgot to get Shonling's Pepper. There are probably other characters that give more attack. Oh yeah, there would also be food. Wonder if we could break 6k attack with food. Would probably need an Adeptus Temptation. Can't believe I'm wasting an Adeptus Temptation for this crap. So, going to start with Binette. Get his ult. Go to Barbara real quick. Go to Diluc. Grab the Pepper. Get Wolf's Gravestone proc and check. What? That makes no sense. Oh wait, we're not in Binette's ring. There we go. 6,355 attack. That's pretty insane, I gotta say. <laughs> and I think all the enemies are dead, so we can't even see what that looks like. Well, here are some more. We gotta get Binette's ult back, unfortunately, and that might take a while. Yes. All right, I guess we're gonna try it. Uh, Barb. Uh, D Luke. Oh, the pepper disappeared. Whatever. There's Wolf's Gravestone. 24k, but no crit. I don't think he has much crit damage anyway. <laughs> Forget it. This is dumb. So I think everyone's more or less how they were before I messed them up. Here are D Luke's stats now. Still a solid 3200 attack, although I'm not sure. I think we have some boosts still. At least from Adeptus there. Let's just go into Abyss to clear those real quick. I mean, we're gonna do Abyss anyway. Our first team actually doesn't have Diluc, so we're mostly going to uh, skip this. I don't think we can actually look at their stats in Abyss. Whatever, let's just start the showcase. We'll go over that stuff later, I suppose. Uh, we're starting with a no, no buff ult here and some other stuff, I suppose. Gonna go ahead and do Binette's ult here. Gonna do Zhongli shield thing. We're gonna go and do his ult as well, I suppose. And we're gonna go back to Diluc for a bit. Yeah, we're hitting for 9k now. There goes Wolf's Gravestone. Uh, just do some basic attacks here, I suppose. Yeah, okay. His physical obviously isn't that great since he has, you know, the, the Pyro Cup and all. Here we have Binette's ult again. We're gonna go ahead and step in there. That was a non-crit. His crit rate to crit damage ratio actually isn't horrible anymore, I believe. But yeah, he doesn't have close to 100 uh, crit rate. Go and do Zhongli's stuff. Get rid of some of their shields. Let's cue that. Yeah, you know, pretty, pretty solid. Haven't really been able to see his full potential yet. We can also get Barbara in here. Uh, but now I have to take care that they have their ult for the uh, next phase. Now we have the nightmare floor again. Oh, damn, this is the last enemy. That's bad. Need to get Vinti's ult back. For this floor, I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do it because usually I have some kind of CC here, but this time I don't. I'm just gonna try and kill them as fast as possible, I suppose. Let's go and get Barbara, Zhongli. Let's go ahead and uh, freeze them for a second there. Go back to Diluc, maybe get an ult. There we go. Push her away. Get Wolf's Gravestone. All right, pretty pog, pretty pog. One more attack should do the trick. Unfortunately, one of those guys is doing a lot of damage to it. Look at those blades. Oh my god, that's way too close. I don't need to worry about the shovel guy too much. He doesn't do much damage to it. He's not dead, is he? Oh, he is dead. All right, shovel dude. That was the closest this was ever. 61%. Now we got the Fatui agents, but I'm pretty sure Ganyu can just straight up solo this, so... Geo guy is still gonna be kind of annoying, I think. Still took way too long. We only have a minute 12 for the next side. That Geo dude took way too much time. I need to take care of him. That's more like it. I didn't see, but we should have a good two minutes for this one. Oh, wow, yeah. No time to run away from that. Even though we did super well on the other one, God, I can't see anything. Now we have two agents we got to deal with in one minute, and they're tanky. This is probably not the best team, honestly. Pog, they're just going to run away constantly. I don't know what's wrong with his build. Like, looking at his attributes, he has 3k attack. His crit rate and crit damage are a little bit bad, but, like, not that bad. I mean, it should be okay. Pyro damage bonus as usual. I don't get it. He's getting buffs from Binette. He's getting buffs from Barbara. He's getting vaporized from Barbara, although it doesn't proc all the time because it's just weird and stupid. But like, 
I don't know. He has level 90, level 90 greatsword. Like, it, it should be a little bit better, but it's not. I gave this dude everything I have. I don't know what else I can do for him. Why fix what's not broken, I suppose. With almost a minute to spare, too. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe he really needs that water dude with him. But, yeah. I I couldn't deal with it. Like, even on the good runs, there was not enough time. We'll try him again for 12, I suppose. <laughs> She's dead. I didn't mean to swap out to Amber anyway. <sighs> but yeah, I guess that'll do it. This kind of turned into a Suffering in Abyss episode. So I don't know, I'm probably going to separate the two honestly and maybe we'll do a little bit more with, with Diluc here to sort of showcase him. Let's do some daily quests I guess, that's the only like guaranteed place to find some normal monsters. Oh great, a balloon mission. One of the main things I've observed is that his basic attack after doing the ult, so when his basic attack is infused with pyro, that's when it feels like he's actually doing something. Other than that though, like... His E is strong, but it's not, like, as strong as I feel like it should be. You know, like, a usual combined total of about 30k, maybe. Maybe 40 or 50k under some buffs. Uh, and, of course, with the basic attacks thrown in the middle, in between each swing. Um, I messed the first one up, but whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Probably a little more, but, like, but when I can swing his basic attack and it's imbued with Pyro, so I guess also within Bennett's ring, which we can check out as well if we find a normal daily quest anywhere. So let's go ahead and try that real quick and just go back to Diluc and start. Yeah, okay, now it's infused with Pyro and he just got Wolf's Gravestone proc. That didn't crit, unfortunately. His stats could definitely be better, so I do blame a lot on that as well. Um, I've never had very good luck with Pyro artifacts, so that's, that's just what it is. But still, I feel like they're, I, I don't know. It's like, the numbers are okay, but then you have to remember that he is a greatsword user. And greatsword users just attack a lot, lot slower. But yeah, I'm probably gonna wrap it up there. I'm not too sure yet if I'm gonna have the Abyss runs really in. I guess I just wanted to raise the greatsword, make a little video out of it. It was supposed to be a cool little chill, fun time, but then I went into Abyss. Again, if I do happen to separate them, uh, my, my voice sounds dead because I am dead. The new 12th floor of Abyss, I was completely oblivious to because I hadn't done it. But man, is it a pain. But yeah, make sure to tell me everything in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you did and you enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching. And until next time.